for myself it's it's of course a form of escapism from uh the the real world where also bad things and good things happen but i've even uh had this moment where i sat just in front of us D session finally back to real life because it was just like finally i had this this place where i could go where i was another character and where well, there's, there were some problems, but you could do something about it. And in my personal life, there were some problems which uh, were not resolved and were not resolving them some, themselves anytime soon. So it, it can really give me a lot of, a, a sort of a, a, a place to, to, to feel comfortable, even if things are dire in, in actual real life. As a player, you, you have one of the leading roles of the film and it's still not written how it's going to end and you have yeah. seen it and that is like one of the most amazing feelings you can have especially if things become epic and the world becomes real and the feeling of the whole setting and the campaign is uh yeah is is uh, is, is getting in, inside your system but in general sense it's i think it's what you are saying kind of lifeline and kind of well, maybe it's not yeah. escape. Maybe it's 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 just part of you. I, I really don't like the, the escape term when talking about role playing games. So Michel says uh, something quite beautiful. I think he says you could say it gives you control over experiences that you sometimes feel you miss in real life. Not escape, but comfort in having that control. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, that uh, yeah. sounds relatable. I have something to add to that. I remember when I was in university and things weren't going so well for me, uh, that instead of being able to dive into this fantasy world, I became quite cynical of it because I always felt that we were together, but no one asked each other the really deep questions about what was happening. But, so instead of uh, me being heard, uh, me uh, really making contact, I've, I started to feel that it was a bit superficial. Uh, that we were there as our characters, but not as our persons. Uh, which luckily went away. Uh, but it was a time when I thought, uh, wouldn't it be great if at the start of a Dungeons and Dragons start, uh, a session, we would really ask ourselves, how are you? Uh, to, to start off in the evening. And sometimes that might have, <laughs> might lead to a whole uh, other kind of evening, uh, but that's what I missed for, for part of that. To, to what you just said us as well, because I think that all people who have had very long campaigns might have felt this uh, one day or another, like I'm having a really bad day and nobody's asking me, uh, uh, how am I doing? or somebody is is quiet all this session long and and when you end and you're home you're thinking like hey that guy is always talking so why was he so quiet and uh then you realize like i didn't even ask him if there was something uh going mm -hmm. on but i do think that that for me personally i have never had that a lot because i usually either start uh uh, having dinner with a few of the people that I'm going to play D and D with, or I uh, remain uh, to to talk a little bit. Uh, so sometimes I get brought home by a friend of mine, and then two of us are in the car, or three of us are in the car, and we still have some time to uh, to talk about it after session or pre session. And in these moments, we often also find that time to to have that yeah. more personal touch. So that would also be like like if you have the time, if you're playing D and D and you have the time, maybe before or after session, take a little bit of time to to ask how everyone is doing because it it yeah. that can make a difference. Yeah, 